AJ was saying no touchdowns for number eight today, but uh, <laughs> they weren't able to stop you. How was practice today? Practice was great. Uh, it was a great way to finish it off. This team is, is competitive. So like like how you just heard, offense going against defense. So we just compete every day, bring out the best in each other. And, you know, it was a great way to finish it off. Uh, since it's over, uh, the off-season program, I guess y'all got some fun stuff tomorrow. Uh, you know, how do you feel the second off-season went for you? Uh, I feel like it went uh, better than it did last year, uh, just mentally, physically, just trying to be better. I'm sure, uh, you know, Falcons probably going to tweet out that play. So take us through that play <laughs> where you were uh, against AJ. What did you see? Uh, I just, when I emotioned over, I seen I was a man, and I knew I had to win my matchup. So it was just go out there and ball. How often do you go head to head with him? Because I think fans look at two, you two guys as two of the cornerstones. How, how often do you go against him and how fun is it? Uh, I go against him uh, a couple times a day and it's great work every time. So just he gets me better and I get him better. So it's, it's a great teammate to have to go against, against every day in practice. All, all we heard during team was, you know, like D-Led said, no touchdowns for him. It sounded <laughs> like it was more than AJ. It sounded like everybody. Yeah, the whole defense. The whole defense don't want me to score. It's all good, though. But that's, that's competition because we go in the locker room and we laugh about it. So that's the good part about it. There's obviously a lot of trash talking between the defense and you. I saw you turn around and tell them that they had to shut up at that point. Uh, what is that energy like, especially just here when you guys aren't going full tackle? What is it like to have this energy out here? That's just everything because it's bringing the whole team into it, offense and defense, to be able to have that and have just that competitive excellence, everybody wanting to you know, beat somebody. That's, you know, I feel like that will help us. These guys in particular, do they kind of energize you a little bit more than maybe last year? Uh, I wouldn't say that. I would say both both teams, you know, last year's team had a lot of juice as well, and this team just have a different type of juice, I would say. Do you like to trash talk? It seems like you did. <laughs> I, I, when, when it's there. <laughs> <laughs> You're only a year removed from your first mini camp as a rookie. Can you help us put in perspective how Desmond has uh, picked things up as a, as a first-year quarterback? Um, I think Desmond's done a great job. Uh, but I would say mostly just, you know, I've been kind of grinding on my, worrying about myself and just trying to, you know, me get better and then where it live where my feet is and me get stronger, faster, mentally faster and go out there and perform. What is one of the things that you've been working on this camp? Is getting faster something that you've been working on or what is Definitely getting faster and mentally faster, being able to dissect defense faster so that I can play faster. And when I can play fast, I feel like I can win my matchup better. I was looking through the video last week, and we had a lot of video of you uh, mentoring uh, Felipe Franks. What, what has it been like for you to kind of have him in that tight, tight end room as well? It's awesome, and it's definitely a little easier because Felipe, and that was one of my, that was one of my, you know, good friends at Florida. So to have him in there and just go through it, you know, he's a little fresh at tight end. So you know, anything that I can try and help, you know, I try and do, and he kind of understands it. So it's, it's it's great having him in the room. Do you, How do you already... think he's doing? Sorry. No, you're good. Go ahead. How, how do you think he's doing kind of acclimating to the tight end spot? I mean, personally, I, I, I love Felipe. So I'm just, I'm going to tell you the truth. I, he, I love him at tight end. So. But, you know, he's a great player. And, you know, uh, whatever the plans Coach Smith has for him, you know, that'd be it. But I think he's a great playmaker. Do you already notice a difference mentally from last year to this year? I would say I do slightly. But, you know, it's always room for improvement. What's it been like having Anthony in the tight end room as well? It's, Ferk, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, Ferk's a vet. Um, He's one of the quieter vets, but that's first one of the guys you got to talk, pull him aside and just ask him some knowledge. But it just, it's great watching him, seeing how he does things and how he has success in Tennessee. So, you know, it's, it's, I feel like we have a great room and, you know, we're all going to prosper. Does he ever throw around he went to Harvard? Does that ever come up at all? No. <laughs> no. How does that kind of look like from a day to day for you? Well, I think they challenge us. Um, they, they want us to understand why we run certain concepts, what coverages we're running against. Um, so, in that term, it's really just kind of, for us, it's mentally stimulating because it's, it's challenging to look at it from a different perspective. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. How do you think overall minicamp went? And really the whole you know, off-season work now being pretty much wrapped up. I think this off-season has been great. Um, again, excited to be a part of this group. Um, it's fun to kind of help some of these young guys learn uh, the ropes a little bit. But at the same time, I think us vets, we appreciate just the work that we've been able to put in. What's kind of next for you? I mean, do you have plans to work with other guys, especially with it being such a, a new group of skill position players? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think everybody deserves some time off. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll communicate. We'll find a way to get together and make sure we get it working. How much have you been able to build that chemistry so far? And, and in what ways do you see it now compared to when you first got here? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a daily process. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I feel like as a group, we've all connected well. Um, but that's what this offseason part of it is for. You're going to take some time off. But I think when we get back together, we'll continue to work on those things. And once we get to camp, I think we'll be rolling. Look, so what's the quarterback you guys working out together? Thoughts about the way you're competing, but also encouraging each other. Yeah, I think that's very important in the quarterback room. Um, you know, I, I think competing 
pushes you to be a better player. But at the same time, we understand that sometimes your biggest support and your biggest advocate is the guy that's playing next to you. So, um, you know, I think uh, myself and Desmond, we've done a great job of just trying to be, you know, that, that supportive aid when we need it. Uh, but at the same time, being able to push us and, and get better at the same time. <clears throat> At this point in your career, just how do you use these OTAs and what specifically do you want to get better? I know you're also trying to master a playbook as well. But. Well, I think that's kind of the beauty of the game is you can always improve. Um, so for me, whether it's accuracy, whether it's consistency, um, whether it's communicating, I can always improve in things. So uh, I appreciate these OTAs. I, I appreciate coming out here and working on those things. Um, and at the end of the day, I feel like I'm a better player since I stepped on the field when we started gotten to go against uh, this secondary for a handful of OTAs in minicamp now. They have AJ, a rising young player, and Casey, an experienced vet who you know well. Um, what, what have you thought of this corners group and what kind of challenges have they posed to you? Yeah, it's it's um, definitely challenges day in and day out. Um, I think it's great for our young receivers as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I, you know what? Coming in and competing, that's what it's about. And uh, I hope they were able to get just as much of a good work from us as we were able to get from them. Um, I thought it was great all around. Um, they're tough to throw against, and uh, I'm excited when the real, the real live bullets come out. We don't got to throw against those guys, you know. Desmond uh, gives you credit for helping him to pick things up, terminology, et cetera, maybe faster than he expected. Um, I'm sure you can remember what it was like your, your first mini camp. Uh, what do you see from him in terms of the way he's been able to, to uh, adapt from the, from the college game? Well, I think first and foremost, he's just been a sponge. Um, you know, and I, I told him don't hesitate to ask questions, and I think when you have the confidence and you have the courage to be able to ask questions, um, you know, I think you're able to kind of experience things and learn things a lot faster. So, you know, you got to give him a lot of credit. Um, he's doing a great job of just being in the book, trying to learn. Um, and he understands, you know, we're going to come out here, you're going to make mistakes. That's part of it. Um, but it's just learning from those experiences. And I think he's done a great job all camp. He also mentioned that he wants to go golfing with you. Uh, so who do you think is a better golfer? In this <laughs> um, we'll have to see. Um, I hear he's pretty good, uh, but I, I like my game as well. You guys picked out a place? Oh, we'll find a place. That, that'll be easy. What's we gotta get. We got I gotta get rags out there. Rags is pretty good. What's your handicap? Uh, I'm playing about a 12. I'm all right. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. not bad. I can hack it yeah. around. You know? <laughs> it's a lot better than mine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're playing uh, with Coach Arthur Smith again. What's that been like? That transition back with uh, head coach? It's been a lot of fun. It, it's such. For me, it's it's such an experience to see where he started at. I mean, I, when I first got in the league, he was a, a quality control coach. Um, and then he worked his way to be a tight ends coach and OC, and now he's a head coach. So that process for him and seeing him, how he was been the same guy all the way through, um, is a testament to who he is. And it's fun to see him in, in front of team, in, in team meetings and, and leading some of these things. Um, but he's done a great job and excited to play for him. Did you have any overlap with Ferkser as well? I did, yeah. So I played with Ferks for a couple of years. So what's it like just having another familiar, familiar face on? Yeah, there's there's a few of those on this team, which is awesome. Um, you know, and it's, that's kind of the beauty of the game is, you know, the relationships you build. So um, Ferk and I, we've been close. It's been fun to get back on the same team and, and to be out there and playing again. I'm excited, you know, for it and um, to lead, lead these guys. Yeah, so what, what does that look like? Is it giving guys pointers watching film? Is it out on the field? What does it look like being the veteran? I don't call you old. Oh, yeah, both, <laughs> both. Veteran, uh, you try to lead, especially in the classroom. I think that's why I can teach guys, a, you know, a little bit more. You know, I see this and see that, you know, the alignment here and there. But uh, overall, you know, just be there and just in case guys got questions and just show them how to practice as well. So, But these guys, you know, they're doing a great job. You knew AJ before signing here, right? Yeah, I, I knew AJ. We actually got the same agent. Okay. So I, um, I've been knowing AJ for, you know, a little over three years now. Oh, really? So we got, the, we got the same agent, but everything's been, you know, pretty solid. He's one of those guys that, you know, don't don't say much, but his play does a lot of the, a lot of the talking. And he's one of the elite guys. Yeah, what's the, what do you think this, this cornerback group can be with you guys out there? Oh, uh, man, I think if we stay healthy, um, I think we got a chance to be really good. Uh, we got some some young safeties that played a lot of ball. That's gonna play a lot of ball, and I think we got a chance to be really good. Uh, but you know, it all got to click. But we got a, we got another month and a few months before the season starts that we can, you know, continue clicking. You, you oh, go ahead, Mary. One of the things that we were talking to Kyle about is the level of energy that's out here, really on both sides of the ball. What is that like? Man, it's crazy. We got like you said, we got some young guys, so the energy always there. Uh, AJ and Kyle kind of were going at it today, even before we start, you know, doing 707. So, that, you know, that brings some, you know, good competition 
and um, can't wait to see how camp goes. Keep you young a little bit? I'm totally kidding. And, and <laughs> keep me young. No, nah, no. Nah, that's why you ain't see me doing all the yell. I need to conserve my energy. No, nah, nah. uh, One of the things you were talking about with AJ is that, you know, he leads by example, but they've challenged him to become more of a vocal leader. Have you noticed that yet? Oh, yes, it, it definitely. Just like today. He, do, he was doing a lot of talking, but he backs it up. And... Um, you just throw his film, it's kind of amazing, you know, the player that he is to be only going into year three. He already got a all-pro underneath his belt. It took me five years to do it, so he got he, he's on the right he's on the right road. What besides being home, what drew you to this team? Um I think I think that's probably more it, just home. Mm -hmm. Home home definitely made it a little easier for me to come. I, I don't have to pack my bags. I can get to stay home and just drive up here. It's a little ride, but yeah. <laughs> I drive 50 minutes every day up here, which is not bad. Listen to some music, throw on a little podcast, and it just get me here fast. No, no problem with 285, huh? No, 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 not yet. Got the peach pass. <laughs> 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 Jump on your peach pass, you'll be straight. There you go. Yeah, you make it go. Thanks. Right